Taking antidepressants can significantly improve your mood, but did you know they come with potential side effects? Hi everyone, my name is Matthias Hartmann. I'm a board certified psychiatric physician assistant and I make videos on how to improve your mood. In this video, we're breaking down five must know side effects of antidepressant medications like Prozac, Zoloft, and others, and I guarantee you have not heard of at least one of these. First up, sexual dysfunction. Did you know this affects about 60% of people taking antidepressants? Sexual dysfunction can mean low sex drive, difficulty with arousal, or even trouble reaching orgasm. It's common with medications that mainly work on serotonin, like selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, like Lexapro, Zoloft, and Prozac. On the flip side, medications that focus more on increasing norepinephrine, like bupropion and Pristique, tend to have fewer or no sexual side effects. Another common side effect is weight gain, which can vary depending on the medication. Most SSRIs like Zoloft can lead to weight gain, but there are exceptions. For example, fluoxetine and bupropion cause little to no weight gain. Serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors like Cymbalta and Effexor cause the same problem as SSRIs, they can cause a moderate amount of weight gain. While weight gain can be frustrating, keep in mind that managing your overall health and well-being is more important than a number on the scale. Now let's talk about something that's rare, but serious serotonin syndrome. This potentially life-threatening condition occurs when serotonin levels in the brain become too high. It can be triggered by taking multiple drugs that boost serotonin, such as combining antidepressants or with certain over-the-counter drugs. Symptoms include high body temperature, muscle spasms, confusion, and even delirium. If recognized early, serotonin syndrome is treatable by stopping the offending medication and providing supportive care. Have you ever heard of bipolar activation caused by antidepressants? It's another rare but important side effect of antidepressants. This happens when someone with bipolar disorder takes an antidepressant and gets triggered into a hypomanic or manic episode. Some of these symptoms include elevated or irritable mood, reduced need for sleep, racing thoughts, and increased activity. People who experience these side effects are at an increased risk of future manic episodes when using antidepressants. There's about a two to five times increased risk, so it's vital to monitor mood changes carefully. Lastly, we need to address a rare but serious warning suicidal thoughts, especially in younger people. Antidepressants have a black box warning from the FDA about increased risk of suicidal thoughts and behaviors in people under 25 years old. A 2006 study reviewed over 4,500 teens on antidepressants and found that 109 experienced possible suicide-related events, although none resulted in actual suicides. However, antidepressants are also highly effective in reducing suicidal thoughts. A 2011 study by Zisuk et al. called the COMED study of 665 people with depression found that 80% of suicidal people treated with medications like bupropion and Lexapro saw their suicidal thoughts disappear within the first month. On the flip side of people who didn't have any suicidal thoughts, only 2.5% of them at the one month mark developed suicidal thoughts. A 2020 study by Lucy et al. showed that six months after the black box warning was issued, the prescription of antidepressants for kids with depression decreased by half and that makes sense. There's a scary black box warning, so the prescriptions are gonna decrease because people aren't gonna be prescribing it as much. That same study showed that between 2007 and 2017, the rate of suicide in teens had almost doubled. So what does that tell us? Well, antidepressants work really well for getting rid of suicidal thoughts. But it's important to weigh the risks and benefits together with your medical provider, especially if you're younger. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video next where I discuss a strange but effective treatment to improve your mood. And uh, here's a hint, it's also used in batteries. I'll see you over there.